I had one who wanted to speak who didn't file anyone else. That's a lot of folks. <laughs> Abide by our three minutes. When you hear time, sit down and I'll allow it. Start over here, just whoever's closest, line up, talk to us, interested in what you have to say. Good morning. My name is Christopher Lawson. I'm here to put a petition against myself. Um, I've been fighting for visitation for my daughter since 2018 um, in Barry County. Like I say, family court is a, is a money-making system. <coughs> violation after violations is like a slap on the wrist to the other parent. Like I say, at the end of the day, it is the kids who are suffering. It's not in the best interest of a child for the father to be stripped of right for trying to go to enforce visitation. I had to go back to court just to get some of visitation. And now I'm gonna be back in court because the mother's still not following the prescribed orders. Like I say, I encourage each and every one of you to uphold the family system. Because like I say, at the end of the day, it is the children that are hurting. And when would the cycle stop? Because fathers and needs their children just like children need their fathers. And on the other hand, I have seen mothers come up here that have been taken away from their family. It seems that the court system is more involved in caring about the financial responsibility of a child. Yes, we can provide financial responsibility and financial oversee, but where's the mental health? Where's the spirit, spirituality of hope for the kids? With that being said, since 2018 to today's date, I have not even spent a holiday with my daughter because every time it's time for a holiday, her mother decides not to comply. Or when it's time for my weekend visitation, which would be this Friday, she would show to the station, call before I even come, and say, oh, daughter did not wish to come. Police do not wish to get involved because they say it's a civil matter. When underhandedly, in the order, it states primarily criminal offense. So I'm gonna encourage each and every one of you to work with law enforcement work with judicial systems, work with judges, work with even lawyers to kind of uphold the family system because families are broken and it's time for a change. Thank you. Thank you, sir.